so grateful for the mercy of God in my life. I can't tell you how much. People ask me what it's like after pure life, and I tell them it's like heaven on earth. It's not perfect in any way. I go through hardships, but I actually know Jesus, and I have a real relationship. And I'm so grateful for what God has done, and for so grateful for a place called Pure Life Ministries where I could go. It took a backslider like me and um, led me on the way to the cross. Um, I just want to introduce my wife, Brady. She's here if you would stand. You can imagine. What an amazing woman she is to have stood by my side through all, all that, through all those years. And so I appreciate her. We've got two beautiful and amazing daughters. Um, Abigail is six years old. Claire is two years old. And I just have a, a, a wonderful family. And I want to thank Pastor Steve and Sister Kathy and the Pure Life staff for allowing me to come um, and share this year. It's an opportunity I don't take lightly. Um, I was reading my devotions this morning, and, and I happened to cross the verse in Psalms that says, Today, if you hear the Lord's voice, do not harden your hearts. And, and I want to just implore everyone here in this room, I don't know what God will, will do in your life, will challenge you, but if you hear the Lord's voice this conference over this weekend, can I implore you, please don't harden your hearts to the Lord and what He wants to do. Be open to what God is wanting to do because he loves you and he has your best in mind. The message I have this morning um, is entitled, Whom Shall I Fear? 